12 Italian scuba divers went for underwater cave exploration when things went horrifyingly wrong. Who knew their passion would lead them into a tragedy? This is their story. On Friday, August 19, 2016, 12 divers went diving in the beautiful underwater caves of Palinuro, Italy. It's a small Italian town located 50 miles southeast of Salerno. Palinuro is a great tourist attraction, particularly during the summer. It has one of the most appreciated seaside resorts of Salento, which is popular for its crystal clear sea and sandy beaches. There are some stunning caves along the coastline, such as Blue Grotto or Blue Cave and Grotta del Sangua Blood Cave, which can be explored by cave divers. It's not news that the seabeds and caves off the coast of Palinuro are dangerous and diving them welcomes risks. These seabeds and caves have claimed many divers' lives over the years. Back in 1984, on August 16th, two young Friulian underwater speleologists died in the waters of the Calafatente. On June 30th, 2012, another accident was reported in the waters of Palinuro, where four divers lost their lives. It was believed that the roof of the cave collapsed. Last to mention, in the order of time, an incident took place in the area of the Blood Cave, where four divers luckily managed to escape. On August 19, 2016, the group of 12 scuba divers went to explore the beauty of the underwater caves of Palinuro. Among them, there were three divers, Moro Camardella, the owner of a local diving center, Moro Tancredi, a local man, and Silvio Anzola from Milan. They were all experienced scuba divers. Camardella and Tancredi were diving instructors of the best-known diving centers in Palinuro. August 2016. It was a Friday morning when these three expert scuba divers were among a group of 12 divers who went diving in the waters of Palinuro. One of the rules of cave diving is to get yourself familiar with the weather conditions right before you go diving, else you might wind up struggling for your life in the middle of the ocean. The dive was all planned and everything was set. From maintaining a guideline to light sources and the rule of thirds for gas management. For those of you who are not familiar with the rule of thirds, listen closely. When cave diving, one third of the total air supply is used for entering the cave. The second third is used for exiting the cave. And the last third is only used in case of emergencies. The dive was supposedly on a wall, Immersion in Porete, but in this wall are a few cave openings. All of the group members returned safely, except the three. The three missing divers failed to re-emerge after the dive at around 10 a.m. The fellow divers waited for them for quite some time, but to no avail. After a few hours of waiting, the matter got on their nerves. They searched for the three divers, but none of the members found them, which left them in chaos. The three divers, Moro Camardella, Silvio Anzola, and Moro Tancredi, went missing, and there was little hope of finding them. It was surprising because those three divers who went missing were highly professional scuba divers. There was no trace of the missing divers. The searches continued throughout the night, but no favorable outcomes were obtained from the search. The negative result weakened any hope of finding them still alive. Now they had no other option but to report the missing divers to the authorities. Fabio Barbieri, a 61-year-old man from Genoa who had been in Palinuro since 1983, was an expert diver and was the first to map the tunnel of the Scaletta. He feared that the three missing divers might have been trapped in that tunnel. The tunnel is not a good place for beginners to explore. It extends to a length of 52 feet and has a height of only 4 feet. The complexity of the tunnel brings in huge danger and risk of accidents, which explains why it's not recommended for beginning cave divers. Although the divers were expert scuba divers, many suspect that they were not certified for cave diving. It was anticipated that the three perished inside of the cave. According to Fabio, who mapped this hard-to-explore tunnel, there's an air bubble in the cave, but it doesn't sustain life for long. It's assumed that the three divers might have been stuck in the confined and narrow tunnel. It probably took too long for them to escape, and they lost their lives. The Port Authority asked Fabio to dive when the SOS arrived, but he responded in the negative, saying that the water was cloudy, so he couldn't see anything. He explained that tunnel is not at all easy to cross, both due to its narrowness and the muddy bottom. 
anything could have happened to the three divers, a technical problem, an illness, or a phase of breathlessness. In the meantime, on various social media platforms, many people expressed their pain and grief over the tragedy at Palinuro. On Camardella's Facebook page, next to the photos posted by his daughter on her brother's 18th birthday, many people expressed their sorrow. There were those who couldn't believe the accident actually took place and admit it just happened. When Violetta talked about Moro Camardella and Moro Tancredi as two very serious professionals and two very good people, Pietro expressed his thoughts by saying, but how can it happen with you only diving in total safety? The search continued in the affected area, including the waters of Palinero, the air bubble, and the hamlet of Santolo in Salerno. The area where the accident took place operated five vessels of the Palinero Harbor Master's Office, directed by the ship lieutenant Andrea Palma and the Paleo subs of the Fire Brigade. When the bodies couldn't be found, despite the hard work by the rescuers and the authorities, the only option they had was to conduct the reclamation of the tunnel. It was decided during the briefing at the Port Authority to carry out reclamation of the tunnel by rock climbers to recover the divers. Andrea Palma, the ship lieutenant and commander of the Maritime District of Palinero, was supervising the recovery. Andrea stated that this was a very complex operation, and the inspection of the cavity requires the utmost attention. Meanwhile, a team of psychologists went to the families of the victims to talk to them. Expert divers explained that the wall of the Emergion in Perete must have been the point where the trouble began, as this wall has some openings which lead to a few caves. It was feared that they went into the cave opening of Skeletta, which was 164 feet deep. The Skeletta cave was found blocked with silt, and its inner side had collapsed. The air bubble in the cave is the zone of danger, where no one can stay alive for long. Divers who have explored the narrow tunnel in the past suspected that the three missing divers might have been trapped in the silted tunnel. At first, the rescuers lost hope in finding the missing divers as they couldn't find any traces of them. However, after a four-hour search, the rescue team located two of the three divers' bodies, namely Moro Camardella and Moro Tancredi. It seemed impossible for the rescuers to get the body of the last diver, Silvio Anzola, out due to the narrowness of the cave passage he got stuck in. However, on Thursday, six days after the divers entered the cave, the body of Silvio Anzola, who died in the 164-foot deep underwater cave of Palinuro, was recovered by the rescue team. Because of the depth of the cave, speleologists from the fire brigade were assisting in efforts to recover the bodies. This was the tragic story about the three Italian scuba divers who lost their lives in the waters of Palinuro. Let us know what you think about this incident in the comments section below. We'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, take a dive on the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon so you get notified when we come back with another exciting cave diving story.